claim on the Eternal Isle. on the human ambition. Nature must rise and reign. Mighty lords, let us cleanse these lands. But the future is fixed for neither man nor beast. <laughs>
You! Come closer! Your captain needs you! One of those blasted things jabbed me! In a bad way! A demon storm! A voice in my head! These foul creatures! I don't know what the hell's going on here! I think so. I could have sworn I saw one of the swabbies, but it was one of those... creatures! Damned priest! I never should have trusted that bastard. All his talk of legends and power, treasures, nothing but lies. And the... I, I don't know. I lost it when the ship went down. But this voice, she says I need to get it back. You, I order you, search the beach if we don't recover the box. <laughs> Wash up on my shore, exhausted and weak, and I welcome you home. It was my destiny to claim that.
You had the choice. You forced my hand. Your soul is now mine. within me, everlasting glory will be ours! Steady there, friend. Dying can be a rather harrowing experience the first time one goes through it. You're actually looking quite... healthy, all things considered. <laughs> Luckier than most. Not anymore, but you were very much dead for a few minutes there. You've been resurrected, you see. It's quite a lot to take in, I know. You'll find many strange things on Eternum, and this not-dying business is one of them. Yes, the pole of the corruption. It's that damn storm. I can't even count the number of ships it's wrecked. And every sailor coming ashore is corrupted. You're one of the few who came through with your soul intact. Ah! But I forget my manners. Watch a lace and reese at your service. I watch these shores for shipwrecks and help those like yourself. <laughs> You're undoubtedly quite shaken by all of this and probably famished too. 
Resurrection is taxing on the soul and the body. Ah. Unfortunately, we don't keep the watchtower very well stocked. Bring your own mead is the rule. But there are some nice fat boar roaming around nearby. Of course, you're not exactly equipped for hunting, are you? Yes, you'll need a skinning knife to start. Unless you prefer your roasted boar with the skin on. If you'll gather some flint and wood on your way to join me at the watchtower, you can fashion a crude knife at the campfire. Impressive. One of the nicest crude skinning knives I've seen. You've done this before, haven't you? It's important to know how to provide for yourself here. The wilds of Eternum can be a very harsh environment. It's reasonably safe up the road in the town of Pridewin, but out here, we're on our own. Yes! It has its own share of troubles, but nothing like what we are seeing here. The persistence of this storm is worrisome, to say the least. I may very well need your help, but as I promised, we need to get you fed first. Uh, yes, you'll find them snuffling around in the bushes nearby. They're ornery, but I think you can handle it. Go and hunt yourself down a fat one, skin it, and cook yourself a little feast at the campfire.
smells delicious. And you seem to be feeling better than when you first rejoined the ranks of the living. <sighs> That's convenient, because I really do need your help to make sure the threat here on the shore is contained. We get shipwrecks on these shores now and then, but I've never seen anything like this. The storm, all these ships, and the fact everyone's corrupted except you? Well, we have to do something. That's the dark side of eternal life, I suppose. You resurrected with your soul intact, but many come back soulless, the lost. Or worse, they return with their souls twisted, possessed by insatiable evil. Those we call the corrupted. Essentially, yes. And the corrupted are relentless, destroying and killing to increase their numbers. Looking at the wreckage of your ship, I suspect that's what's become of the rest of your crew. It's just across the water, and frankly, we need to deal with the corrupted gathering there. I know it's not a pleasant task, but if you can put down some of your former crewmates, it's a start, at least. Oh, excellent! If the corrupted start converging on you in numbers, I suggest you retreat. Either way, keep that blade handy. The last thing we need is for you to be joining their ranks. And they shall ruthlessly strike down their fellows. Their path to corruption be gone. Well done. It's grim work, I know. But we can't let the Corrupted get entrenched down here. Unfortunately, the numbers seem to just keep growing. Several shipwrecks along the shore, and more by the hour.
The storm wall is a fact of life here. It completely surrounds the island, wrecking any ships that approach and any that attempt to leave. But this storm, it's unnatural even by Eternum standards. There must be something, or someone, causing it. Hmm. I'm not sure, but all this wreckage at the same time. It seems like it must be coordinated somehow. We generally see a new shipwreck only once a season. And even then, there are usually more survivors. Ah, that's likely a lost cause. If they're out there, stuck in the midst of the wreckage, they're probably already corrupted. More importantly, I need to focus on finding the storm's source. And I couldn't possibly ask you to go alone. Well, I fear you may not fully grasp the danger of such an endeavor, but I won't hold you back. Just keep that weapon at the ready and take out as many corrupted as you can. If you find survivors, send them here. is only the beginning. All these sailors join our cause. Soon, it will be all of humanity.
safe spot this way. Come on! What a relief it was seeing someone who was still human. I was beginning to think I was all alone out here. The rest of the world had gone mad. Perfect. I was betting there'd be some kind of town nearby. Thinking I'd go look for it after I'm done out here. But I'm not about to go walking away from a fleet of freshly crashed boats. Not if I have a choice in the matter. This isn't my first shipwreck, you know. One thing I've learned. You have to always think ahead, keep an eye on the horizon. And there's booty to be had here. Countless treasures captain and crew had stashed on board, if you know where to look. Of course! Not like these rotters care a damn for it, and I'll be needing a new ship, a new crew. That takes coin. In fact, if you want to partner up, I'd split the loose 70-30. Or what the hell, 60-40 even. What do you say? Then we can go ahead to that watchtower of yours. That's the spirit. It's a deal. I need to circle back to my own ship to grab what I can. But there's a wreck over there I haven't searched yet. Find the manifest first, then look for whatever's listed. I'll meet you over there. Fortune smile on you, mate. shall steal from one another, like rats fighting over scraps.
to worry. More importantly though, what did you find? Let's see here. Oh yes, these are definitely worth a coin or two. Soon as we find a town, we'll sell them and split the profit. Unfortunately, we didn't have as much luck as you did. Those damn red eye rotters are swarming all over the wreckage of my ship. I worry it's bad luck leaving behind my own treasures. I can't get through the bastards. Now there's a good mate. Tough one too, if you're so confident. No complaints, though. Tell you what, if you can get my stuff back, I'll give you a greater share of our profits. 40, 60. Or what the hell, 30, 70. What do you say? Most of our cargo was lost at sea, and I got my captain's log on the way out. What's burning me now is leaving behind my ship's flag and my lucky wheel. Get those, and then maybe we meet at that watchtower. Works for me.